Uh, I'm not going to comment on this, anomistic, but um, a, a lawsuit's coming, and it's not going to be a civil one. It's going to be a criminal one. That's all I'll say about that. All right, and, so uh, there was a comment up on the screen about suing Patreon and Kevin, which is me in this case, and he says there is a lawsuit coming, and it's not going to be civil. It's going to be criminal, which is not how lawsuits work. John is not the FBI. He cannot bring a criminal case against me. No. And the fact that he thinks he can tells me he's not talking to a real attorney. No. He does not have representation if he thinks that he could actually have me arrested and sent to prison for laughing at him. Well, you'd also have to be arrested first. Well, Pat, the funny thing is, is that he, <laughs> he actually called our local police department <laughs> and bragged about it on Twitter yeah. and his show. Yeah. Saying how, oh, yeah, yeah I, w- I had a great conversation with the RPD today. Really, dude? What? Imagine taking that call. Yeah. You're the police. It's like, hi, it's me, Stuttering John. It's like, what? You, I would hang up. Like, no, enough, kids. <laughs> yeah. Stop doing this. Like, <laughs> hey, hey, guys, you? it's the stunt boy from Howard Stern. This guy's always hilarious. All right, what's up, buddy? Yeah, on the other <laughs> line is the jerky boys. Who else is calling from the 90s? <laughs> yeah. like, what are we doing here? Yeah. This, guy, this guy's like, ah, oh, I was two days away from retirement. Yeah. God damn it, I got to deal with this. I got to go. Mr. T's on line two. Like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> All right. This is a very dehydrated, stuttering John. The other day, last Saturday, he had an open house because he's selling his apartment. And so he had to clean everything up and get it ready for this open house. And he got very tuckered from this and was probably hungover. I mean, who's to say? But a lot of times, if I had too much to drink the night before, I'll be dehydrated Mm -hmm. the next day. A lot of times that's what causes that. Yes. (laughs) Yeah, baby. Welcome to the world famous Stuttering John podcast with your favorite world famous host, Stuttering John Melendez. Sorry that I had to start a little late today, but I'll be honest with you. I felt like I was going to pass out. It's true. I was sweating my freaking cojones off. Your what? Cojones. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was cleaning the place since 9 o'clock, even after I had it deep cleaned. Vacuuming upstairs, downstairs. I just want to point out. His apartment is not a big place. It's less than a thousand square feet. And he already paid someone to come over and clean it. And all you had to do was kind of like routine maintenance cleaning. And listen to how difficult this was for him. Carpets, floors, throwing out old umbrellas and (laughs) mic stands and... Whoa! I would do that in two separate days. Umbrellas on Tuesday, <laughs> yeah. Mike stands on Thursday. Yeah. You did that all this morning? Holy shit, Good dude. System. No wonder. Are you cleaning your apartment or recovering from Hurricane Katrina? Like, what do you, why do you have, like, all these random things? And, by the way, how boring is your show that you, Carl, are like, hey, you know what? I, I know his apartment size. I'm like, what is he talking about on that show? We're yeah. like, big, big episode. I cleaned today, and I have an open house. No, you're homeless now, dude. Like, yeah. that's what's happening. He literally opened his show with yeah. this content. Yeah. It's a, yeah. Hang on to at least one umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to need it. <laughs> like, yeah. Lifting shit up and down and up and, and down. then uh, does both. <laughs> just everything, you know, uh, laundry, this and that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jesus. Cleaning the notes. bathroom and. <laughs> Washing all the dishes and yeah, like anyone else in the world, you know, scrubbing the floors. Here's Why is he washing the dice clay? <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Hey, I'm doing the dishes." <laughs> oh, <laughs> he, he said that he had to do the carpet, the floors, and now the floors again. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I was vacuuming. I washed a uh, glass, and then I washed a uh, cup. And then I washed uh, oh, the saucer. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. And then, and then I paused. I took. I was tucking out. And then I cleaned the plate. <laughs> it was a big day. Rubbing the floors. <laughs> and I was breaking a sweat. Jesus. Scared. Look at him chug his 
OJ. And I just said, the All juice. Right. <laughs> the juice. <laughs> the last time I felt this way was when I was dehydrated. Now, granted, I had a lot of liquids yesterday. Of course you yeah, did, John. Yeah. <laughs> 18 of them. <laughs> 18 liquids yesterday. And here I am all dehydrated. I can't figure it out. It's great. Liquid comes in 30 packs sometimes. <laughs> no, not just beer. Not just beer. Oh, not just beer. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for correcting us. I think that John knew exactly what we were going to say. <laughs> there was Muscatel. <laughs> I had a high, a large high C fruit punch. I had a cocktail. There was ice in it. That's water. <laughs> Why is he name dropping? Yeah. <laughs> I see. By the way, a high C fruit punch is something a child drinks. Yeah. I had my, my fruity drink box. <laughs> Mister, give that back. <laughs> Which means he went to the McDonald's drive thru. Where else are you getting high C yeah. fruit yeah. punch? That's a good point. With Tony Michaels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. We got 10 minutes again. All I was right. going to uh, say, we're coming down. <laughs> Beer. I had a, high, a large high C fruit punch. I had plenty of water, seltzer water, regular water, but I don't know. Seymour Butts, you're exactly right. It's the future. We, have, we should have Seymour robots Butts. for that. Then I I clean the vacuum cleaner, throw all the stuff out off the balcony. <laughs> he throws them off the balcony? <laughs> I know Canoga Park's a dump, but dude, <laughs> have a little respect for the place. Jesus. I threw a vacuum down. I hit Andy Richter's. He was interviewing Patton Oswalt on the second floor. <laughs> we live in the who gives a fuck and apartments. And then out comes the filter. Then I got to go back downstairs and get the filter. Then I realize the attachment for the filter's gone. Then I got to go back downstairs. Whoa, we had to go downstairs? Jesus, that is a lot of work. I started sweating. I actually stepped three times. <laughs> Look for the attachment. It's not there. Then I get back upstairs. I find the top of the filter. Then I got to put that on. It sounds like a you problem more than anything else, John. It sounds like you fucked up. This was does, this the plan for the podcast? Like, yeah. this break, does sound like a rich down boss podcast. detail for detail of everything I did. <laughs> then I took a breath. I breathed out. Then I breathed in. <laughs> then I breathed out again. And continue. <laughs> like, so I want to see the notes. Like, Mention the filter. Mention it twice. <laughs> yeah, don't forget about yeah. the filter and the downstairs and the upstairs. Seymour Butts likes filter talk. I heard he likes that. I was out of freaking breath. Yeah, you still are. That's from, ever, ever since I had those strokes, that's how it's been for me. Anyway, there's the link. <laughs> <laughs> Send me money. Holy shit. <laughs> How do I get them to like me? Oh, I had strokes. Remember? Remember when I had strokes? <laughs> and that, it took away my only good thing, my stutter. Does that have anything to do with being dehydrated? <laughs> if you had strokes in the past? I, I don't know. I don't think so. I, mean, I don't I, think that's how that works. Well, I mean, strokes. during it, you can get thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So John gets a super chat here. And I know not everyone can see this. So I will read it to you. This is interesting. On it. This one, anonymous liberal. Thanks for the ten bucks. Uh, I even advise everyone to make their YouTube name anonymous. All right, it says I would advise everyone to make their YouTube name anonymous. The last time I donated on here, I was doxxed on WATP Discord, and someone named Carl called my place of employment to get me fired. So this is what people are doing to John. They're fucking with him. They're telling him all this crazy yeah. shit, and he believes it because he's a fucking moron. John, you fall for this every time. And also, Anthony Kubi is talking about your kids right now. You fall for it every fucking time, you moron. He was docs on one of these fucking things on Discord. Uh, you know, so, yeah. <laughs> he won't say my name. Yeah, Don't worry know. about it. What, what's it this? Don't worry about it. Because I'm handling all of that right as we speak. Uh, and, uh, mm -hmm. uh so <laughs> don't bog us out with details. About a thing. He's yeah. handling all of this as we speak. He's collecting all this. By the way, what he's doing right now is screen capturing that comment. Cause that's going to go in his evidence bin. <laughs> Everything that people tell him, he's he's screen capturing all of the subreddits, all of our Discord, and going, see, Carl was talking about my kids on a super secret Patreon episode. They're all goofing on you, John, you fucking idiot. 
I don't know, Carl. At one point, I I believed you, but after his defense of ah, yeah, I believe him now. You know, that right. was a good. He said, "I got ah, uh, I had a stroke." Let me see if I can get you back on my side here, Pat. I want to go. Don't worry. I want to go all the way back to September of 2020, back before John got a little self conscious about his alcohol problem and would actually be honest about how much he would drink. I think this is pretty telling. That's how I do it. And that's why I'm in impeccable shape. But I have to be because, you know, you drink 12, 13 cause lights a night. You know, you're going to have to maybe even 14 if it's a good one. 15 maybe if I'm really, <laughs> you know, like like tonight might be a big one because I got the Yankees and the NFL. So it is, it, it'll be a long night. His hands are tied here, guys. Yeah. There's two sporting events going on. There's two things on TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got uh, Stranger Things. I got to get caught up on. It's probably going to be 2022 20, Coors Lights tonight. <laughs> There's a parade and a kids' ballet recital. I got two <laughs> things I got to go watch right now. <laughs> Holy shit. And oh. then this is a fun little clip from a recent episode where he has a guest on. And the guest is trying to explain to John that you can disagree with people from the other political party, but you can do it with grace and politeness and kindness. And there's a way to go about it that doesn't have to be so abrasive. And this is such a foreign concept to stuttering John Melendez. He doesn't even know what she's talking about. He's literally confused by every word she says here. I try to disagree with Grace, and I know that that is not everybody's cup of tea, but I think that's something that you need in somebody that is representing a really diverse group of people. You guys are joking, but literally that's how (laughs) dumb John is. Listen to this response. (laughs) And Maine is very different. You try and disagree with what? (laughs) Disagree with Grace. With Grace. With Grace. With kindness and politeness, (laughs) even though I... You disagree with kindness? I try. I mean, that doesn't mean that I change my opinion or I'm a different person. It just means I use a little less stepped on Lego language a lot of the time. But do you understand what you just said? You disagree with kindness. Yeah. John. No. Oh, my God. (laughs) Oh, my God. Like, this is real? This is real, dude. This This isn't who's on first, but he's doing it. Like, this is real. This is the best. Where did you meet kindness? This is what (laughs) Howard Stern has been saying this for decades. John is funny when he's not trying to be funny. That's when you're funny, John. You're not a comedian. (laughs) He really believes that this woman hears someone be nice and goes, fuck you. Stop (laughs) it. He's being polite. John, I can't explain. I know you're listening. John, she's being polite in her disagreement. That's what she's saying. I like to be a cunt to kind people. (laughs) That's my motto. First of all, now I got to Google Grace. How do you spell that? Two S's? (laughs) How many S's are there in that word? (laughs) I think you can kindly tell somebody that they're really effing wrong. So, in other words, you agree with being kind. Right. Yes, but you just yes, said I'm I kind in kind. my disagreement. What? I, I'm kind in my language choices when I sure. disagree. Now, and you'll, yep. you'll see that on Twitter. You'll see me interact with people that are very toxic to me, and I'm happy to have a conversation. I'm just not going to go down their sure. rabbit hole. Okay, I get it. Now, look, let me say thank you to Mark Safe for being <laughs> rated Baja King for the five bucks. Okay, why don't you tell everybody? <laughs> what a fucking idiot. Let me thank the Baja King real quick <laughs> because he's important. Thanks, lady, for sharing your toxicity. The Baja King <laughs> is throwing me five bucks. All right, Pat, I have a clip that I've been very excited to get to. It's a longer clip. So I'm going to go away. Do you away. have time? Can I reconnect with you so that we, <laughs> yes, have, so that yes, we don't I've... get cut off? Okay, I'm going to send you another link. Cool. Okay. So the only time that John wasn't fucking confused in that clip was when he was being smug, thinking that he was correcting yeah. the broad. Isn't that great? Yeah, Let me yeah tell but you. what you just yeah, said, yeah. Though, you don't see. <laughs> Let me tell you what you just said, like a dummy. And instead of saying, no, John, you're a retard, <laughs> yeah. she was disagreeing with kindness again. <laughs> yes, you're right. She was demonstrating the yes. thing that she says she likes to do. <laughs> Here's how you do it. <laughs> it's incredible. Fucking incredible, yeah. this guy. But I do stand with Ukraine. 
he's, he's still got the fucking Ukraine thing. Like, yeah. that's over, man. He's like, yeah, but I don't have a lot of clean shirts, so <laughs> I'm still on the Ukraine thing. And they're making fun of my holes. <laughs> oh, man. All right, Pat, you ready? I'm ready. All right, this is great. John just had a big falling out with one of his bartender friends. <laughs> There's so much to discuss here. Tell me to pause it at any time okay. as we go through this. This is fan fucking tastic. I'm so sick of these Trumpsters. And let me tell you about a story yesterday. And this is a fact. <laughs> I will no longer attend. He's got the finger a up. Pub. That this bartender is working at. Okay. First off, I want to point out that the scroll on the bottom is that thing to donate to the friend of a friend who's going through chemo oh. treatment. So, and I, I guess I didn't realize this when we were goofing on this last time. What he's doing is illegal. Mm. You can't ask for charity un unless you're keeping books on that. He's asking people to donate to a charity that's his PayPal address. That's illegal. I Unless he has some kind of not profit tax he, thing, which you know he does not have. You right. cannot no of comedy shows. He's gotta have something, but he can't just ask for it and say, I'm gonna give it to him. Yeah, you need to you need to be like a 503C. Like do you have to register with the government to do this kind of thing? You can't just tell people like, give me the money, I'm good for it, I'll give it to the charity. And that's I really counted I, I counted five hundred and three C's, <laughs> I wrote them all down, and it's fine. <laughs> yeah. I did it. Get the, the girl's got leukemia, let it I want the money, it's fine, I got a filter for it, it's good. It's literally what he's doing, and holy shit. Okay, so we've already established he's upset. There's a bartender involved. This is a lot. Let's get into no it. No more pub. I have been going for years to certain pubs <laughs> to support this bartender. All the time. She happened to move from one venue to another. No need to get into the details. You just did. And since then, <laughs> even though people said, oh, you guys aren't going to support her anymore after a week or two. What's it's people? been five months. Yeah, who the fuck was <laughs> yeah. who the fuck was saying, you know what, John? I bet you wouldn't even go drink at that <laughs> yeah. bar. Like, I sure will. He leaves his house. Boom. <laughs> you, know, you. You, you know who said that? The guy who owns the other bar. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, you're not going to go. She's not going to fuck you, John. She didn't yeah. fuck you here. She's not going to fuck you there. She'll fuck me. Pat, <laughs> you have already picked up on something yeah. very early out of this discussion. I used to bartend. I know regulars okay. during the day. That's what he is. Yes, correct. Yes. Because this is what John is. John's angry that he was rejected, and huh? he's turning it into a political thing. But listen to this. This is great. You guys aren't going to support her anymore after a week or two. It's been five months. I still go to the various different places that this bartender goes to. Because I'm but a hero. That ends now. Whoa. I follow her to the bank. Sometimes I look in her windows. <laughs> I know what she does. I know where she lives. I guess you could call me a gentleman. <laughs> Last night, well, yesterday, after the Yankees took another heartbreaking loss. I went and mailed things that were helping one of our beloved chatters, whose loved one is undergoing expensive chemo treatments. And I mailed this person a Groupon for chemo. 50% <laughs> <laughs> off your next treatment. <laughs> I saw a billboard that said, why be bald forever? And I sent them the coupon in the link. <laughs> I mailed something that I obtained from one of my buddies at one of the various watering holes that I go to. So what John just described, again, another federally illegal act is he mailed drugs to someone who's going through treatment. It's like, I got this substance. I'm not going to tell you who I got it from or where I got it, but I did put it in the mail, the U.S. mail, and had it shipped across state lines. I bought weed from a guy at a bar, and he got me a shot of Jaeger. It was a good deal. <laughs> what a fuck. But you are all accomplices now. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be our secrets. <laughs> Don't tell anyone or we're all getting in trouble. Yeah. Don't call the police. I already called them on Carl. It's fine. <laughs> Shh. 
Tiffany, I see you waiting on the wings, but you're not on video. This is a video show. <laughs> he just scolded a guest who isn't even on the show yet. You don't have to turn on your camera while you're waiting for the asshole to talk about the bartender who's being a dick to them. You could wait and hang out with your camera off, John. <laughs> there might be cleavage. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking, too, yeah. So, I yes. go to the pub. I'm not going to name which one it is. Okay. Who would care? And I get my balls busted because the Yankees lost, and that's fine. Oh, good. But then. I like that he's like, I have a good sense of humor, yeah. though, so it's fine. You know, I'm, yeah. I can roll with the punches, everyone. Sure. Can that you? also means that, like, this shit bar that he goes to is so over that he used to be famous yeah. that when he walks in, they're like, the Yankees lost, you piece of shit. That's all they yell at him. Yeah. They know him as a Yankee fan, not like the once famous guy. That's hilarious. That, that's a really good point. <laughs> His identity is that he roots for the Yankees and the Giants, not that he was on the Howard Stern show and Jay Leno. Yeah, he went from Baba Booey Jr. to Norm from Cheers Jr. Like, that's what he became. <laughs> the actual gener the generous person who helped me with something that our chatter needed. Your, your drug dealer. We got it. Okay. Yeah, we, that next to your drug dealer. Yeah. All right. And her and our loved one. They helped me. This person, he doesn't want to think that he's a good guy, but he's a damn good guy. Who doesn't want to think that they're a good guy? Why does John say things like this? Now, this person would tell you that he's an asshole, but I'm going to go ahead and say, pretty good guy. If you needed a stuttering Don translation, what he tried to say was he doesn't want it out there that he donated this. Yeah. He just wants to do it out of the kindness of his heart. Right. And he took it as, he hates being known to be good. He's a filthy Mexican who I buy drugs from. <laughs> Yes. You no. wouldn't think a guy named Javier would be good people, but bueno. You know what I mean? Bueno. Uh, most of them are scum of the earth. Don't get me wrong, but this is one of the good ones. He wouldn't give me more guacamole for free, but he gave me the <laughs> weed for the chemo bitch and her daughter. <laughs> anyway, I'm doing because Shut he... up in the back. Shut up. We're not ready for you yet. <laughs> and turn the camera on. Yeah. Turn the camera. I'm a good person. Do you have he chemo? Want... Then shut the fuck up. <laughs> I want to think that he's a good guy, but he's a damn good guy. Okay. Because he and his wife Aren't real. got <laughs> an item this person needed that would be very, very helpful. So now he's bringing an accomplice into this, too. And it wasn't just him. It was his wife also who supplied this illegal narcotic that I then shipped through uh, the U.S. mail. Is that he's, he's, just drunk. <laughs> he's drunk at a bar talking this guy's ear off about some woman neither one of them know. Yep. And to the point where the guy's like, dude, I'll get you weed. Just leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> yeah. Just leave me alone. I don't know who you are. I'm 28. I don't know your life. I wasn't alive when you were known. Please get away from me. Pass the pretzel bowl back. Get your fist out of the pretzels. So I'll give you weed for your fake person that's dying. We know the weed's for you. I like that Pat's pretending he's exaggerating, but he's not. No, that's probably exactly, <laughs> that's exactly what's what fucking happening. happening. Wow, you yes. really did bartend, didn't you? Yeah, he's got it down. He's got it down. And I went to the post office and... I mailed it. 45 homers, mom. 45. And I mailed it. Huh? And then I get to this thing, and then there is that, that generous guy. Again, too many fucking details. The way this guy tells the story. And then I took a left, yes. and then I took a right, and then there's a mailbox. I opened the door to the mailbox. Upstairs, downstairs. Did he say 45 homers in the middle of that? I think so, yeah. I think they're probably talking about Judge. But nobody was talking. He just gave a stat. Because <laughs> he's reading the chat at the same time. Know, and he gets distracted. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I didn't pick up on that. When, when he said 45, I didn't know what he was talking about. That's funny. <laughs> wait, 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 you're paying attention. I like that. <laughs> Who turns to me, and I'm, we're five, six feet apart, with various individuals, including this certain bartender. It's really painting a picture. You know, in yeah. that little. I'm respecting the restraining order he had given me from six feet apart. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's no way you can smell my BO. I was six feet away from him. <laughs> I thought COVID was over, but whenever I go in the bar, everyone says I must stay six feet apart from them. It's not for anybody else for some reason. Everyone puts Maybe. on a mask. They weren't wearing masks before I came in. I don't <laughs> they just put a mask over my face. <laughs> And a bag. Yeah. <laughs>
This generous man mm -hmm. just says, man, Trump is a fucking hypocrite. This is a man who has been crapping on Biden for a while, although it's all turning around, isn't it, folks? We'll get to that today. John gets very confused. He doesn't think that you could dislike both Biden and Trump at the same time, which is very doable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Extremely doable. <laughs> He's always confused by that. That's a Yankee Red Sox mentality, though. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you're a huge Yankee fan, you can't. Like, guys like him don't know what to do when Roger Clemens came to their team. He's like, what do I do? He's a communist. How do I handle this? It's like, uh, no, it, he's a man with a job. As long you as Johnny both. Damon shaves his beard, then I can root for him then. <laughs> That's it. That's fine. Yeah, John, did you know there's also the Orioles and the Blue Jays? What? The <laughs> I had no idea. I like Oreos. They're good. <laughs> the double stuff's my favorite. But I was just cleaning some of the white stuff off of my carpet. I think it's from Oreos. I got an Oreo filter. I put it in the middle. It's, <laughs> it's not real cream. I don't know if you know. I didn't realize, but it's not real. There's no milk in it. Vegans can eat it. They're fags, but it's fine. I guess I should have said the Tampa Bay Rays. <laughs> would have been probably a better. <laughs> they used to be the Devil Rays. <laughs> it would have been a better example. But then people, the, the satanic cult people got involved and said, no, they're evil. And then the Rays killed that Steve Irwin guy. I met him one time. He's dead now. <laughs> Eddie, if you want to donate money to Steve Irwin, send it to me yeah. and I'll get it to Steve Irwin. <laughs> I'm going to hunt that crocodile. If you just give to my PayPal. I probably shouldn't say his daughter's getting hot, but his daughter's getting kind of, you know, anyway, what I'm saying. I'd, I'd hunt her Most. crocodile if that's even a thing. Everyone joined in to the conversation. Yeah. You know, this is the guy that said anybody who pleads the fifth is guilty. Only the mob pleads the fifth. And then he pleads the fifth because he's a fucking hypocrite. John calling someone a hypocrite yeah. is insane. This is a guy who literally in the last two weeks has said that he is going to sue Patreon because they promote racist mm -hmm. and anti-Semitic mm -hmm. content. When we have so many examples of John using the N word, mm -hmm. talking about Jew boys, so many different examples of all these things that he's done. And he's sitting here going, that Trump guy, he's a hypocrite. Okay, well, to yeah. be fair, what I was saying was I wish they'd also promote me. They're promoting that other <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. anti-Semitic stuff. But promote my anti-Semitic stuff. <laughs> As my friend stated. But the bartender is suffering from severe BDS. And let me just give you an example that happened before. You know what BDS is? No. So I guess it's Biden derangement syndrome. Oh, I thought it was like some kind of diarrhea of the mouth, but like with different words. I didn't know what it was. Yeah. I think big that's dumb, what he's talking big about. Big dumb stuttering. Is that what BDS is? <laughs> yes, yeah. She's yeah. like, suffering like, from the same thing that I have. <laughs> BDS. I have mesophilioma and BDS. I suffer from both from being in a factory in 1978. Anyway, back back to my when story no one cares about. Made the ridiculous statement that Joe Biden was suffering from dementia. And I am is that ridiculous? It's he there's something going on, bro. right? He's not right. Then he said he sniffed kids. He's not <laughs> sniffing them. He's taking in their essence. He's getting younger. <laughs> it's what he's doing. It's how you stay youthful. <laughs> that Joe Biden was suffering from dementia, and I, of course, said, "Really? You mean more so than Trump?" Hey, she says. Yeah, that's not an answer to our current president has dementia. Yeah, but this other guy does too. So what? That doesn't mean anything to anyone. Again, Pat, you've broken it down perfectly. Yeah. This is a Red Sox Yankees mentality. It's like, yeah, your closer's not very good. Yeah, but your closer's the worst. Yeah, but I know but you're not going to win a World Series if you don't have a closer. But that'd be even better if he said your closer is the worst and mine is the best. Instead, he goes, really? Not as much as he, so you just did say he has dementia, yeah, just right. not as much dementia <laughs> as the other guy has. Yeah. If I was writing it down, I'd put that lesser than an equal sign, and I'd put that <laughs> over dementia, and I'd put Biden here and Trump there. No politics at the pub. Yeah, from so you, from you, John, you're obnoxious. No one wants to hear you talk. You're an idiot. You don't know what you're talking about. You come into the pub, you scream about Trump, and they're all like, shut the fuck up, yeah. you loser.
Also, no sports. Yeah. <laughs> also, no panhandling. How about that? Yeah. Can I get some free weed and some money for Leukemia Jones? Like, no, can you just buy a beer and leave? <laughs> also, no Johns. Yeah, but John Smith were over there. No, we said no Johns. Johns. <laughs> That's words, Jonathan now. <laughs> so, in other words, she can talk her political views, but she can't hear anybody else's. That is opposing hers. No, she can say that Biden has dementia because he probably does. And she doesn't want to hear what your fucking opinion is on Trump. That's what she's telling you, John. She's probably been hearing this guy talk about Trump for three and a half years and she can't fucking take it anymore. And it's also, and like we said, a bartender talk, drunks forget they don't work there. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, no, she's saying, hey, I'm an employee and you're getting annoying and you're going to hurt my tips. So stop talking about this. He goes, what you can. Yeah. She can also unlock the door and lock the door. <laughs> she can also call the police and throw you out. She has different <laughs> levels than you because she works there and you followed her to her next job, which is terrifying. Yes. Oh my God. Pat is spot on. I'm so glad that we did this segment with Pat. He's got this completely figured out. I want to open a bar with Pat. <laughs> it's like so, we have no politics. What do I do? And no beer. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the pub. One of the patrons, my good friend, says yeah. Trump is a fucking hypocrite. And I, I say, yeah. Yeah, I've been saying that all along, guys. Remember he was complaining about about Obama golfing too much or whatever it was? And yet he exceeded him in one year. Obama's eight years at the golf course. Yeah, remember that? And what does this bartender do? She starts trashing Joe Biden and telling. Now, you have to understand, folks, this is an open discussion. It's not one-on-one. Yeah, see, I don't think anyone else at the bar knew that. I don't think anyone else at the bar thought this was an open discussion that anyone could get involved in. I think she was just talking to her friend. Yeah. Or possible well, co-worker. She, no, I think she's just going against... You ever meet someone you don't like, so whatever opinion they have, yeah. you do the opposite yeah. just to make them mad in hopes they would leave. But then that person takes it as like ki- a kindergarten like flirting. They're like, oh, they're making fun of me, so they want to fuck me. So he keeps going. He's like, how do I stop this? I made, I made, I said Biden's great. I don't even care. I never voted. I'm an illegal <laughs> yeah. alien. Like, <laughs> yeah. They're in fucking LA. No, nobody there is a fucking Trumper. And she's just like, you know what? I fucking like Trump now because you hate Hate him. I'm I'm sitting here in this human discord where it's an open thread for everybody. It's like it's not a human discord, you asshole. It's people at a bar. Yes. Shut up like the guy who's dying of heroin in the corner and just drink your beer. And and when someone tells you they don't want to hear from you, that is not just a hint. Like <laughs> I, I've been told to shut up before. I get it. Right away, like, oh, I need to shut Especially the fuck up. Especially at a bar where the <laughs> yeah. next thing is we'll cut you off. I'll cut you off <laughs> yeah. if you don't shut the fuck up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just telling you you're wrong. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's joining in. So this bartender says to... Yeah, they're the all o- telling you to shut the fuck yeah. up. Everyone's in this discussion. This guy's telling me to shut up. This guy's telling me to beat it. This guy's telling me to go screw. Everyone's part of this discussion. One guy says, we closed an hour ago. You're in my car. Get out of here. Who are you? The other Trumper who was there, who kept on saying, Trump's the man. Trump's the man. I don't care. He doesn't get caught. He could do whatever he wants. He's the man. This is the... This is... This is the real Trump derangement syndrome. It's from these loons that will kiss the ring of this guy. So my friend says, so, okay, let me back up. So the yeah, bar back up. <laughs> We were going too fast for a second yeah. there. We were actually getting through some things. And I was like, well, 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 well. I think it's better that you, when you find out they weren't saying Trump's the man, they were yelling, jump that man. They just want to beat the shit out of Sonny John. It's like, jump that man. Just somebody beat the shit out of that man. Says oh, you like, you like Trump? To the, this guy. I'll call him Little J. And she st- Oh, my son posts this funny thing with Biden screwing up or something. And I said, really is a sticker for details. She says, my son did this thing or something. 
<laughs> so I says, <laughs> here we go. To say, how about Trump saying that we bombed the airports? We took over the airports in 1776. She goes, hey, I'm not talking to you. You're screaming at me. Yeah. I'm not talking to you. Right. Fuck wasn't. you. Fuck yeah. you. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. She's finally Freak. fucking had enough with your shit, John. She's just quoting Carl. <laughs> Tons. Yelling at me. Yeah. Yelling at me. Good. And my friend it. goes, come on, you have to admit, Trump's a piece of shit. She goes, well, Biden is a piece of shit, too. Yeah. Now. That's fair. Good. And that was it. Getting somewhere. No more for me. I'm not going to be yelled at by you. When I'm there, I, even if I have three beers. I like that John is now ex- explaining that. I'm the one who decided to stop going to this bar. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. They don't want you there, yeah. John. She doesn't <laughs> want you there. And he's like, no, no, you can't kick me out because I'm leaving. That's right. <laughs> I believe I had a hat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If I have three beers, what do you think I tip this woman every fucking time? Nothing. What do you think? Oh, man. Three beers. Twelve bucks worth of beers. Okay. What do you think I tip this woman? Every fucking time. Three dollars. Ten yeah. bucks. Whatever. Ten dude. bucks. No matter Maybe. if I have one beer or five beers. Wait a second. Wait. I'm confused by the math <laughs> yeah. here. He tips ten dollars. You become less the hero as the <laughs> yeah, right. you have five beers. <laughs> this ten dollars is not that impressive anymore. I might have twenty. <laughs> Once again, as a bartender that bartended during the day years ago, yeah. when a drunk would come in and have a 20, and he's like, just keep it there. You keep the change. And yep. the more he drank, you're like, fuck, I'm not getting a dollar yep. out of this guy. Yeah. And like he, at first, you're like, I might get 15. But it's like, so if he goes in one day, it's whenever they throw him out. So when yeah. they realize that he's not going to tip, that's when she goes, all right, three beers, you're cut off. <laughs> now you got to go. <laughs> so then she keeps the $10. And yes. then he's like, all right, whatever. The next day, she knows how to get rid of him and keep his money. All right, but he's going to talk more about what a big tipper he is. Yes. Because as we all know, John is not broke. He yes. has tons of money. But and he can just throw it around. If the principle at stake here is that he's not going to get yelled at, what the fuck does the money have to do with it? Nothing. And I actually, I, let's listen to this a little bit, and then I want to get Pat's take on it. Because okay. for some reason, assholes like this go into a bar, and let's say John is a big tipper. Sure. I think what he's trying to say is that for every beer he gives ten dollars. I think that's what he's trying There's to say. No fucking. It's not way. what he said. Well, it doesn't even make sense because if the beers are three dollars each or four dollars each, how do you give ten dollars on that? It doesn't even make sense, yeah, right? Whatever. So, but even if he did, sure, that doesn't mean he could just treat everyone like shit exactly. and be an asshole yeah. and yell, "You're an asshole," and I know everything about politics and you need to shut up. Like, no, no, sir. But it does to every drunk. It does mean that. correct. And he, and so what this woman tells him. Is I don't need your money. Right. And John, which is the rudest thing possible, <laughs> thinks, no, you do. Ten nice. bucks. Because I'm generous to mm-hmm. her and one other bartender at one of the pubs. Yeah. Ten bucks. Well, that's a towel right there, too. I'm generous to her and one other bartender. So the two girls he's trying to fuck. Yeah, I'm yeah. assuming it's a female. Yeah. Are, are, are I don't the... tip the guy. Yeah, right. What am I, gay? I'm tipping a guy for a beer? <laughs> I used to tip one lady, and then I realized she was a fella, and then I stopped tipping her. And she fucking, she said, you don't have to be here. You, I don't need your money. Get, what? Really? Really? After all that money I've given you, after all the support. Oh, she owes him. Yeah. You hear that, Pat? This this is insane. <laughs> this is a flashback for anybody with a dad in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> just coming home drunk. It's like, you think you could just run around throwing your trapper keeper on the ground and make it fine? I paid for that keeper. I own that keeper. And I own you. I'm your keeper. <laughs> I've given you. You felt it was okay to start screaming at me in front of my friends because I disagree with your... In front of my friends. Yeah. Another tell. There's so many tells in this. I know. Did she embarrass you, John, because you're an idiot and she made you First look all, dumb? They're not your friends. They're other alcoholics in a right. bar. Correct. You're yelling at her at her job. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. At yeah. four in the afternoon. Just to yes. recap, he doesn't go there for the beer. He goes there to support her. Yes. Another fucking dick thing to say. Yeah. 
No, John, you go there because you're an alcoholic and your options are five different places and that place has a bartender, you know her name, and you want to fuck her. Yeah. I used to be a Biden and a Lucy from that bar supporter. Now I no <laughs> longer support Lucy. It's just Biden. <laughs> just Biden. <laughs> Fucking BDS. And then you then tell me I don't have to be there. Really? Yeah, really. Really. Okay. Got it. Note to self, never fucking try to avoid being in your presence at any time of the day. Oh, good. You got it. Yes. That's exactly what she was saying. And she I... doesn't want you around. Yes. Very good. No, if you break down how he worded it, he double negative it and he fucked it up. Uh... Ne- yeah, he said he's going to be there. He's me, like, the, never always <laughs> try to avoid. All right. I'll tell you this again. Never fucking try to avoid being in your presence <laughs> at any time of the day. Never try to avoid. <laughs> yes, Gil, but I give ten dollar tips. <laughs> Even his chat is going. Are you yeah. sure about this? This doesn't make any sense. You you do a trumpet sound to get two bucks from someone. No one thinks you're giving ten dollars to a bartender for every beer that you get. Doesn't make sense. She'll Why go it. there for four dollar beer if you're going to spend fourteen dollars each beer? Does it? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. And actually, it's funny because on the most recent episode of To Catch a Dabbler that we just played, he was talking about why he liked Pickwick's Pub. And it turned out it was because people will give him cash while he's there. And he even <laughs> said in that same sentence that the beers are only $4. Yep. So he's obviously price conscious. In Man. that math, he spends $52 for four beers. <laughs> right. <laughs> so fuck off. <laughs> and I'll tell you this. <laughs> so she then, you know, she starts to tell you, you don't have to be here yet. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to LJ. I said, no, we're all talking to everybody here. See, again, this is John being so delusional. When someone tells you I'm not talking to you, you have to realize they don't want to talk to you. This is like when Artie Lang said, I'm not friends with John. John's like, yes, we are friends. No, you're not. You know how I know that because Artie said you're not. There's there's two people in this equation. One of them says, I don't want to talk to you. And John goes, yes, you do. <laughs> no, I don't, John. How do you not understand this? I bet you this is because the bar owner thinks it's cool that Stuttering John drinks there. And therefore, he tells them, I know he yells, but it's kind of cool that he's here. Don't throw him <laughs> out. Just cut him off once in a while. She's like, he's an asshole. He doesn't matter. Why do I have to care about this man? And he's like, just let him stay. And get, I put it on the website. Stuttering John's here sometimes. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> it, it's like our clown from the ground round. He entertains some people when you come in sometimes. So, But he's like, she's like, fuck off. And he's just like, I'm allowed to be here. I'm your mascot. There's no. You, you, you didn't say, hey, little Jay, this is a private. You want to have a private discussion at a pub? Then you have it in private. <laughs> but when the whole, all of us are talking about Trump being a fucking hypocrite and Trump being a piece of shit, we're all having the fucking, fucking. <laughs> conversation he's like and i realize that i'm embarrassing myself yeah and i can't believe i'm still angry about this i'd like to end with a poem <laughs> <laughs> guys i i know that this we're so used to john being so retarded and so insane yeah. think about this he is sobered up it's the next day and he's still this upset that we're now nine minutes into this rant yeah. where he's going off about how he was wronged by this bartender who doesn't like him and doesn't want him yelling at her and wants him to fuck off. Yeah. Like any bartender in the world. Right. But if you want that bartender to let you back in, maybe you don't go on the internet and yeah. yell about her. Oh, by the way, people have figured out who this bartender is, too. Of course they did. And, and they're putting in Yelp reviews saying how great she is awesome. and how much they love awesome. her. It's really funny. She's going to get outpouring of support now <laughs> because of this incident. She's getting more super chats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm going to be in L.A. in a few weeks. Oh. I should go visit Claire yeah. and give her 10 bucks oh, and be like, yeah. yeah, you know what? I think Biden does have some issues. Thanks for you the beer. You should do a show from that bar. <laughs> yeah. Just talking to people about, did somebody Johnny say out here? Anyone have any stories? <laughs> Does anyone miss him? <laughs> if, wait, Carl, if you don't think they know who you are, 
<laughs> like, you think yeah, he complains yeah. about everything else? How many? This fucking ass. I'm, let me borrow your phone. My uh, my minutes are up. I got to call the, the police department. Yeah. And I got to yell about this guy. Let me borrow your phone. <laughs> no. I know. I need to be a field reporter when I go to LA. <laughs> 10 bucks is a fucking great tip for three beers. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm still talking about it. Fuck yeah, someone in the in the chat was calling him out. So he's like, no, fuck that. That's a great tip. What are you talking about? Not for three beers. No. But it doesn't matter. Because that <laughs> that relationship is over. I'm not going to be fucking. Yeah. I'm not going to be screamed at. She ended it. Because yeah. you're so fucked up in the head that you think that Biden is a piece of shit. Considering all the great shit. Biden is doing for the middle class, you dumb fuck. It cost me $110 to fill my gas tank. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, he saw his beginning argument was we were trying to have a discussion, and then he yeah. ends it by saying, We're all on one side. How dare you have another opinion? Yes, I know. That's a discussion, John. <laughs> <laughs> also, call me crazy, but hiring 90,000 people to work at the IRS. I'm not four, so I don't know. Oh. I, and I, I'm middle class, so I don't know. <laughs> you know, when is this Trump fucking train going to end? And all of these fucking losers <laughs> that support <laughs> this ultimate loser, when is that going to end? Wow. Thank you. You're Don't welcome. <laughs> Now, thank you. The lack of self-awareness <laughs> is astounding even for John. Yeah. Someone sent me that clip. We were flying back from Denver, mm -hmm. and I was looking at it on the plane before we took off, and they're like, this is your whole Centering John segment next week. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you're right. I don't have to pull any other clips. This is That's insane. why you were screaming with laughter. <laughs> yeah. I had my feet up in the air in the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so he's not. I know we said he's so he's not sober because only a drunk person says thank you when speaking to <laughs> yeah. themselves. Yeah. He's talking to him. There's no one else there. We're listening. But he's like, thank yeah. you. No. Who are you thanking? He's still at the pub in his mind. Yes. <laughs> okay. Real quick. I just have to play these clips for you because right. he had an open house in his apartment, but it was during the time that he does his beer on the balcony show on Saturday afternoons. So what he did is he went out into his car and because it's very warm out in LA, he started this car. He has a seatbelt on, his car is running and he does his show from there. This is him bringing on his guest Modi. Now I'm going to bring on Modi, my dearest comedy friend in comedy okay everybody welcome to beer on the balcony there's the link if you want to donate to help uh you know one of our chat is out who was uh whose loved one is going through chemo and could use the help all right again he keeps saying that all of the money that you give him to his paypal is going to this charity case which i'm not buying but this is modi on the show and this is john drinking in his car <laughs> Modi, I got to tell you, uh, you know, I do the bulk of black box a lot. Yeah, it's a fun you know, room. I, yeah, I might get 40, 50. You, you don't get 40 or 50 people, John. You got a dozen. And oh, I thought he meant dollars. No, he gets 40 yeah. people. <laughs> yeah, he got a dozen people, and one of them was Scott the Engineer, and another one was Scott the Engineer's wife. <laughs> Sold out. Two shows there. They had to add another show, right? We did, yeah. We we had another show. It was so much fun. It's such a great room. It's uh, he's drinking I, a beer. Pat can't see the video, unfortunately, but he just took a sip of his Coors, which I don't live in California. Pretty sure that's illegal to, to have, have your car, car running, car running, it, and drinking yeah. a beer. Illegal. Open everywhere. container. That's every, that's everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I thought. This is the last clip I have. So Modi's doing a plug at the end of this interview, and Jeff Ross. You know who Jeff Ross is obviously. Uh, yeah. So Jeff Ross was in Centering John's movie. He played his best friend in his movie One Too Many. So you would assume that John and Jeff have some type of relationship with each other. They should be friendly or something. For some reason, when Jeff Ross's name is brought up, John says this. We're co-hosting it, but we're having am amazing comedians. We have J Jeff Ross is coming on. We got nice. Jeff Ross's. Yeah, it's really sweet. And there's a surprise is it, guest. Is he bringing his underage girlfriend? <laughs> uh, um, I, I I don't know what he's bringing. He's bringing good energy and love is what he's bringing. <laughs> and uh, 
did he just call Jeff Ross a pedophile? <laughs> well, that's I'm out pretty there. sure that's what just happened. That is out there. Uh huh. There's a lot of stuff on Jeff Ross when, when the just and all the grooming stuff was happening. Yeah. But I think John was trying to be funny, but like during a plug for show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's on, like, is it great Jeff Ross the gonna be there? Yeah, right. That's not the time to be like, yeah, that guy's an asshole, right? Like, well, I mean, he's at my show, so <laughs> that'd be like me being on you or I being on Kumi and going, remember that tweet you did a while back? That, thing? Remember, <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. That time? It's like, what are you doing? You're on stop it. <laughs> the only reason why anyone's showing up is because Jeff Ross is there, which means a tell might show up. Shut up. Who are these